Hi there, Paul Fricker here, and I just wanted to take a look at the Call of Cthulhu Classic Prop Set. Now, some time back, Chaosium uh, had a Kickstarter for the original rulebook of Call of Cthulhu, and uh, some of the supplements, I think the first five supplements, and the HP Lovecraft Historical Society have issued this prop set in conjunction with that. So I'm just going to open up the box, and I'm just going to give you a little taste of what's in there. Uh, so to start off with, we've got a nice sturdy box, and as you can see, it's pretty much crammed full with uh, Mythos goodness. Uh, you start off with a, a guide, read me first, it explains what the deal is, how things are arranged. Then you have this newspaper, feels like a, a genuine 1920s newspaper, uh, broadsheet like this, and in each of the folders you get instructions on how to cut this up, how to dissect it for each of the scenarios. So if I just grab folder one, you see there's, uh, there's four more folders like this one. In fact, this one's the thinnest one of the five. Uh, I'll just open it up and give you an idea of what's inside. So it gives us a guide on which bits of newspaper to cut out so that you can give your players the correct handouts in play. And there's another one for the Cthulhu Companion and for Fragments of Fear. I also just note that on the side of the box it says, Our newspaper clippings are printed like the real thing. They look right, they feel right, and they even smell right. I mean, it smells like newspaper to me. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, what else do you get in this one folder? You get a map of the Belgian Congo. lovely. Then we have the Will and Testament of Walter Corbett, beautifully presented. A Justice's Civil Docket, so more documents. Again, absolutely beautiful. Beautifully typewritten letter. Yeah, just like a, a page that has been torn from a book about Great Britain. I see words like Mother Earth and Ley Lines, and on the back I can see pictures of um, standing stones. I mean, that just feels like a page from a book. Here we've got a, a yellowed page from, and not only yellowed, but like stained at the bottom there. Ah, I think this is uh, Unexpreclic and Colton. I mean, man, that's lovely. Again, with a picture of a, a standing stone there, as if it's been torn out. We've got this beautiful torn edge down the side there. Lovely photograph. Some pages from a journal. And here we have a page from uh, somebody's journal they wrote in 1907. A uh, handwritten journal, very neatly written, but written in, I think, German, if I'm not mistaken. I can't read German very well. I might be able to pick up a little bit of it. If you were fluent in German, great. You'd be able to understand this. Otherwise, you get to make your language skill roll. If you make it, you get this version, which has been magically translated for you <laughs> so that you can uh, read it if you don't speak German. And then here we have a little uh, sketch map. So that's a whole ton of stuff in that one folder for a selection of scenarios, that's beautiful. So that was the first folder. In addition to that, let me just pull these out. I'm not gonna go through all these uh, in detail. If I just tip these out, this is what you're getting. I mean, that's, they, that's quite a weight of uh, printed material right there. And all of it is fantastically produced. So we got, uh, this one, uh, the fifth booklet, the fifth folder, you've got an actual book of poetry written by Maurice van der Laden. You've got a bunch of contracts. If I just hold this up so you can kind of see what you're getting in there, just a ton of material. This is folder four, yet more. This is folder three. I mean, if they fit any more in here, they'd need bigger folders, honestly. This is folder two. And that was folder one. 
So in here we have handouts for the Corbett House, also known as the Haunted House scenario. Uh, we have handouts for the Paper Chase, Mystery of Lock Fine, The Rescue, The Secret of Castanegro, coming from the Cthulhu Companion. Uh, Fragments of Fear, The Underground Menace, Valley of the Four Shrines. Shadows of yogg -Sothoth, The Whole Campaign. Uh, the Asylum and Other Tales, again a whole bunch of scenarios there, there's like half a dozen scenarios there, uh, including um, the, the Asylum, the Auction, and Trail of Sathogua. The <laughs> mind-blowing amount of stuff in here. Uh, and it's just going to add a lot to uh, when you play the game. I mean, a lot of players just love this stuff, so um, this is fantastic. So they haven't just done the like what you might think of as the official handouts. They've included props for things that are just mentioned in the scenarios. Yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, the prop set that accompanies the 40th anniversary Call of Cthulhu Kickstarter, uh, produced by the HPLHS. And whenever I see the name HPLHS, I know it's going to be fantastic quality uh, and a great production. And uh, yeah, can't go wrong with this.